Okay, they both came into this training area. Not knowing what to expect. Thank you, Lily, for coming right over. Ivy is not sure she goes on. So I go on with Lily. Good girl, Lily. I reinforce her for coming over right away. Not paying attention to the fact that Ivy did not come up to me directly. Kind of like an LRS. Now I'll go on with Ivy. Good girl. I'm clipping on her reins. She already has her bit in her mouth and the head stall from the adjacent paddock. Good girl, Lily. She's still paying attention. Ivy let the reins go overhead. And I'm clipping on the lead rope. She's a little hesitant going over to the mounting block because it's away from Lily. Not all horses I would let just roam around, but Lily is not going to interfere with this. Now with Ivy, I'm expecting her to line up parallel to the mounting stump in a good lineup to where it's comfortable for somebody to get on her back. She's not quite sure from the stump. I do have to get down on the ground at times to line her up. But then I'm expecting her to hold her feet still in place while I get up higher until I tell her to move on. She needs to stay still in that position. So I'm going with any weight on her back. Good girl. And that is total <laughs> trainer idiot air. She spooks at saddle pads falling on the ground, saddles falling on the ground. So the fact that I stumbled and she stayed, I am absolutely amazed. Good girl. So I go right back to it. That was my fault. She was amazing. Asking her to line up again. And for the SD, I'm using the verbal of line up, both from the ground in front of her and from the stump. I'm doing a little bit of both. And bridging and reinforcing constant behavior, standing still, no foot movement. Now I'm just testing her out with my foot on her back, rubbing her back, rubbing her hindquarters, my foot's moving around, I'm leaning on her, my weight's shifting, and just to make sure she knows to keep steady in place until I'm done and tell her otherwise. Good girl. I'm not sure at this point how much she knows of directing her head turning with the reins. So that's something I'm going to be trying out shortly. Just reinforcing the movement. I could sit here for five minutes and do this. She, If I overtrain it, crazy expectations of holding still, then holding still for 30 seconds will be a piece of cake. Right back on her again. My weight's on her. Oh, good girl, Ivy. And I start shifting my weight around back and forth, letting her know that I'm done. Tried a little bit of head directing. She did this really good yesterday. I don't know what the deal is today. She might be maybe watching my feed. It is a different scenario. Yesterday I did it from the ground. No spook. Just kind of scooched to let me down. This girl has a lot of potential. She's so much fun. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Good girl, sweet Ivy. After this, the head stall bit comes off. Halter comes off and it's dinner time. And Lily's kind of minding her own space off to the side. It gives Ivy a little bit of comfort having her buddy there, and that's okay. All about approximations and trust. 